Hey guys, I'm Sai Hakai, but you could just call me Sai. Um, there are going to be a video for each uh, category. So AR, sidearm, shotgun, SMG, sniper. So if you're interested in any of those, uh, there'll, there'll be a link in the description down below if you want to check out those. Uh, but anyways, let's get into what we're doing today. Okay, so now that you know about the other videos, we can get into today's video. Today, we're doing sidearms. Next category are the sidearms. Starting off with the uh, tier one uh, sidearm, we have the attachments one, three, and eight. Now I decided to just go overall good. Uh, I didn't want to like optimize one thing or the other because this gun is kind of a, a overall, you know, base gun. The first one you get, they want it to be generic. It's not overpowered in any statistic, uh, but it is the good old G5 Earl. It's just, it's decent. I wouldn't have it any other way. I do pick another sidearm, but nothing can go wrong with the G5 Earl. So I went with the one, three, and eight. 15% increased effective range while aiming. 25% reduced spread, which that is phenomenal. And then the 20% increased reload speed because I cannot get over how good it feels to reload fast. Next is the tier two pistol. Me and Ice King's oh, favorite, favorite sidearm. Yes, it does have the um, one shot uh, mod on it, but that aside, it is still a beast of a gun. So for this one, I have seven, eight, and 10. Essentially, it is a quick multi-kill pistol. Seven being an increased RPM of 1.5 seconds at when you bring it out. Uh, so you put away your primary and you whip it out. Boom. You have like really quick RPM for a while. Um, with eight being the 20% increased precision damage. So if you're a really good aimer, that extra 1.5 seconds that you had for the selection, that is easy kills with the precision damage. And on top of all of that, of course, you have me who wants the 25% increased reload speed, which means I could do that whole thing all over again with the selection, precision damage, and yes, the one shot mod. So yes multi-kill demon of a pistol next is the scum of the earth for casuals lapara the tier three sidearm and yes even in the game it is considered a shotgun not a pistol so that aside i have five seven and eight five being 10 percent increased reload speed and 15 percent increased weapon selection speed so swapping your weapon is faster then I have the 20% increased range because why, why not? And eight with the 10% increased reload speed and 50% reduced time after sprint to fire. So even more speed. And on top of that, that is 20% more reload speed. And since it's only a two shot, that reload speed makes it all the better to use. Next is the tier four. Uh, pistol which is overall pretty good but i have six seven and eight i made it overall kind of just a little bit better uh six being the 20 all this the 20 percent or 25 percent increased weapon selection great 10 percent increased hip fire accuracy while sliding and 30 percent hip fire while jumping so i move a lot uh that 30 percent and that 10 percent for those going on jumping and sliding fantastic for me um the more you move the better essentially uh with the sight being a 25 uh 20 percent faster aim down sights always good to have and the 10 percent improved weapon stability and 10 percent increased hip fire accuracy and that's just regular hip fire that's not even from sliding or jumping like the other one so overall i made it a movement oriented pistol now there is one where you could prefer range over what i have because this is kind of fitted for me i'm not gonna lie on that uh but one three and five and you can switch five and eight out 
One being 20% increased effective range while aiming. So damage, more damage. 10% increased precision damage. So if you're a good aimer, you got that. And five being the 10% increased hip fire accuracy and five increased reload speed. Speed, reload speed, great, cool, love it. 10% increased hip fire accuracy. That's something I got from, from the level eight attachment anyways. So five and eight kind of go with whatever you want to have, preferably. I used to have one, I think one, five and eight. But anyways, I'm sticking with six, seven and eight. But if you want range, you could do one, three, and then you can, like I said, you can switch out five or eight, um, depending on what you think is best. Next is the tier five uh, pistol. Uh, this thing is kind of a demon for long range and obviously short range. It's still two to the chest and they're dead or just one headshot, they're dead. You can almost, I think, get a headshot from any range. Now I'm just generalizing. Uh, there's statistics out there that can prove me otherwise for sure. But um, overall, most maps, no one has a chance if you get headshot by this thing. So for this gun, I have the one, three, and five attachment. It's overall speed over range, uh, but let's get into what they actually do. Number one has increased RPM for 15 seconds after a PVP kill. Sorry, PVE, there's just too many enemies. I can't do that for you. There's the 20% faster aim down sights with the level three attachment. And the level five has the 30% slower spread gain and 10% increased stability. So overall making the gun a lot better feeling. Uh, so yeah, five making it feel better. One making it shoot faster than goodness. It's a very slow. And the number three making it uh, aim down sights just feel a little fast. But if you wanted to go for range, you could switch out level three for the level eight, which is the 50% increased effective range while aiming. Essentially a mini sniper. I have gone into tower and used this alone. Just this for an entire game. Not in tower, but I was in tower for a little bit. Uh, when I was figuring out how well this gun worked. Uh, it is a mini sniper. It really is. But uh, I'm sticking with one, three, and five. I'd rather get a headshot based off skill, not just effective range and a better sight. So I went for speed over range. And for the tier six or the season Charlie pistol, uh, last of the season Charlie or the tier six or however people want to say it, um, this one is, there really is nothing better. Uh, there's only one you can switch out, but I'll get to that in a second. So for the attachments, I have six, eight, and nine. Six being 50% increased hip fire accuracy, which is phenomenal for a burst weapon uh, in any regard, but especially for a sidearm. Um, eight being refills 10 ammo upon kill has, of course, has a cooldown. But just having this in general makes it kind of an infinite mag, just like some, some other guns that uh, show up in this video. And the number nine, 10% increased stability. Uh, again, making this gun easier to handle like to handle it, it just makes it so much better there's not many attachments that could make this any better uh the only thing anyone can really argue is instead of the level nine attachment the 10 percent increased stability you could have the level one attachment which is 10 percent increased damage beyond the effective range the reason why it's debatable is because a sight versus no sight I'm not going to want to snipe with this gun. You can, but like, I really shouldn't even attempt it. So I, I opt out for a level nine attachment, the better stability overall. I might maybe get a kill, uh, for distance, but you know, I'd rather risk it with a nine than, than, than not at all. So yeah, those are the attachments I have for this gun. Okay. That's all for today. Uh, Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you had other opinions or that, you know, you saw a gun in a new light. Uh, but uh, leave down in the comments down below what you think. And please watch the other videos if you're still interested. And I'll see you in the next one.